68% of Social Security beneficiaries will do this. I have all the details and the surprising numbers for you right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, a new study was just released on Social Security beneficiaries with some wildly surprising numbers that I wanna focus on in this video, and I also do wanna talk about some dollar amount numbers that'll also directly impact and relate to your monthly benefit here in the video, so let's get into it as we have a lot to cover right here in this video. However, really quickly before we do, Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as I am your one and only daily advocate and I am very much dedicated to you and this community to continue doing all the research, watching everything closely and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what is actually going on right now and all of these big announcements, especially out of the administration, the president, lawmakers, Congress and anything in regards to all these new bills, packages, proposals, amendments, reform to these very important programs, as well as money, raises to benefits, and anything else in regards to checks, stimulus, or anything else like this we can possibly get our hands on right now during this very expensive time and while money is very, very tight for the vast majority of people. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and I'll continue to be here for you right by your side every single day, as that's my commitment and my dedication, and of course, I'm sticking to it. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into it and talk about this new study that was just released, what it means for Social Security beneficiaries, and of course, I want to talk about those dollar amounts also that also directly relate to your monthly benefit that you probably want to be aware of. All right, so this new study that was just released is showing 68% of Social Security beneficiaries are reporting that they are considering going back to work after retirement. Why? Well, because of this inflation that we're all dealing with right now, uh, many of these people, 68%, so more than two out of every three people out there right now are realizing that their money from Social Security and their benefit that they're trying to live on is simply not enough. Therefore, 68% or a little bit over two thirds of the population receiving benefits are considering going back to work not a good situation, right? That is really sad. I mean, honestly, that's just plain old sad that somebody has worked their whole life, their whole career, putting in the time, paying all the taxes, and they're finally receiving social security benefits, enjoying retirement, and all of a sudden have to go back to work to pay the bills. I don't know, something about that seems really, really sad to me. Well, the study also goes on to show that 42% of respondents said that they're actually going to claim benefits early and then continue working for the same old reason, right? Again, super sad stuff. People that are, you know, at the age that they can start claiming benefits, 62 or older, um, you know, probably want to hit the road and maybe like, I don't know, maybe enjoy life for a little bit, probably considering they've probably been working for the last... 25, 30, 40 years, something like this, maybe even a little bit longer. And, uh, you know, putting all that time in. It's time to hang up the working shoes and to enjoy retirement, right? So, super sad situation. But this is the fact of the matter because of all the inflation that we're currently dealing with right now, this is kind of the only solution that a lot of people have right now because, as we've seen from so many studies previously, the vast majority or about 40% of Social Security beneficiaries rely on their benefit for 90 plus percent of their monthly income. Again, a lot of people out there relying on their monthly benefit for their monthly income. And again, a lot of times it's not making the cut, right? Which by the way, this year in 2022, the average Social Security beneficiary, retirement beneficiary by the way, is receiving $1,657 per month as the average. Well, can you live on $1,657 a month? You could, it's gonna be pretty tight though, between covering everything, including rent or a mortgage, car payments or gas in your car, insurance on your car, all of your utility bills, your phone bills, um, all these other things you have going on, your prescriptions, all things like this, doctors and co-pays and premiums and all stuff like that, as well as, oh yeah, we probably wanna eat too, so probably a little bit of food every so often, you know, that'd probably be pretty nice. At the end of the day, that 1657 gets eaten up really, really fast. And just imagine, for those of you that are living on something smaller than that, it just gets tighter and tighter and tighter the lower that you get on the on the spectrum, right? So I think we all can uh, completely understand this. I don't need to explain all that. I think all of us completely understand how this is working right now, right? 
Anyway, with that being said, now I want to talk about a couple dollar amount figures that will directly impact your benefit if you are one of these people who is either working currently and going to claim your benefits early and or you're somebody who is retired, again, receiving Social Security benefits and you're possibly considering going back to work or bringing in some kind of income because of, you know, this inflation and simply it's just not cutting it anymore. So let me break these numbers down for you because this is very important to understand because the last thing you want to know is getting that letter in the mail from Social Security saying, overpaid, sorry, we overpaid you, now you owe us how many hundreds or thousands of dollars, right? Uh, yeah, you don't want that letter. So let me tell you all these details, which by the way, let me throw this out there as well. If you think they're gonna sneak under the radar and not be caught by Social Security by earning more money than you can, trust me, they're gonna find out how. Because Social Security supplies your income and your information to the IRS. They're gonna find out, trust me. Don't try to hide something from Social Security. They will find out and it is not gonna be a pretty picture. You gotta be transparent, you gotta be honest with them. It's the best way to do it. And they'll actually direct you, they will direct you they will help you earn as much as you possibly can and avoid penalties. So they will help you through this process. They're not gonna say, oh no, you can't work, it's against the rules, you're gonna lose your benefit. It doesn't work that way. You can work when you're receiving Social Security benefits, not a big deal, but they will help guide you on that path and they will make sure that you can maximize your earnings as well as maximize your benefit so that you're not penalized in any way, shape or form. But again, just, being throw, just throwing that out there for you. Just please be transparent with them. Don't ever try to hide something from them. They will find out, I promise you. It might take them a little while, but they will find out, okay? So with that being said, let's talk about the numbers here and the details that I want you to be aware of. All right, so here's what it comes down to. There's a couple of different numbers here that I'm going to focus on. One being, if you're somebody that's claiming benefits prior to your full retirement age. So this would be anywhere between the ages of 62 and about 66 and some months, wherever you turn to your full retirement age. Here's what it comes down to. If you're claiming your benefits early, as in before your full retirement age or FRA, you need to be wary aware of this. The dollar amount is, $19,560. What does this mean? You can earn up to $19,560 um, from income, like from a job or whatever else you're doing, just other income other than your benefit uh, as somebody claiming your benefits prior to your full retirement age. As soon as you hit that threshold, what happens then is every dollar that you earn over 19,560 or on average 16, uh, sorry, $1,630 every single month, they're gonna reduce your social security benefit by $1 for every $2 that you earn over that limit. So at that point, you might be working for free or practically they're about, right? So you keep that in mind, $19,560 is the threshold on an annualized basis or $1,630 on a monthly basis is what it calculates out to every single month. That is for those of you that are claiming your benefits prior to your full retirement age. Those are the limits. And again, one more time, which is if you earn over that limit. So as soon as you earn $19,561 for every $1, sorry, for every $2, let me take that back, for every $2 that you earn over that limit, they will reduce your social security benefit by $1. So please keep that in mind because if you earn over that limit substantially, they're gonna reduce your benefit in a big, big way. And all of a sudden you've gone from earning money to being, uh, becoming a volunteer. Just like that, right? So please be very aware of that. They're gonna reduce your benefits substantially. All right, now with that being said, now let's quickly talk about for those of you who are uh, working, but yet you're gonna hit your full retirement age this year or maybe next year, whenever you hit your full retirement age because this is a different parameter. Here's what it comes down to. So I'm recording this video in 2022. If you happen to be watching this in 2023, same would apply, but the dollar amount probably will be a little bit higher. But again, as of right now in 2022, here's what it comes down to. Let's just say that we enter into the year that you're going to be hitting your full retirement age. Here's what it comes down to. The threshold on how much money you can earn prior to your birthday of that year where you actually turn FRA, full retirement age, is significantly higher. It now turns up to $51,960. So here's what it turns out to. Let me give you a quick example. Let's just say in 2022, you're going to be reaching your full retirement age in November, okay? So November of 2022, you're going to hit your full retirement age. 
Okay, now let's say that you're currently still working in 2022. Here's what it comes down to. Since you are hitting your full retirement age in November of 2022, guess what happens then? Now you get to uh, earn up to, prior to your actual FRA, you get to earn up to $51,960 prior to your birthday in 2022. Again, this is an example, and you will not be penalized on that. Now, once you hit your full retirement age, it's game on. You can earn anything you want. You can earn $1, you can earn $5, you can earn $5,000, or you can earn $500,000. It doesn't matter. There's no limit. Once you hit your full retirement age, you're off to the races. You can earn as much money as you want, and there is no penalty. But for the year that you actually are going to be turning FRA, full retirement age, you can earn up to prior to your birthday, $51,960. And again, this is in 2022 that you can earn this much. This number will be updating in 2023 as it updates every single year. A little bit, not much. It's probably going to bump up by maybe... I don't know, maybe $1,000, maybe. Uh, just like that 19560 that I gave you just a couple minutes ago, that'll also be adjusting higher in 2023 as well. So again, this is uh, the different numbers that I want you to keep in mind because if you earn over the limits, you will be penalized and they're gonna take a lot of, of, of your benefit away. So please be aware of that. We never wanna work for free, right? I mean, here's the deal. You can either work or you can volunteer. If you wanna volunteer, then just volunteer, but don't work and then volunteer because you've earned too much. You know what I mean here? <laughs> so there's a big, big difference here. We, uh, anyway, I just wanna lay that out for you just so that you're aware of these uh, different limits here because it's very important to understand if you earn over the limit, that's what's gonna happen. So just keep these limits in mind and again, I wanna throw this out there as well. This is general information. I do not know your exact situation. So please, if you're working currently or if you're going to start working as somebody re uh, receiving social security benefits or if you're going to claim your benefits early, please call Social Security, have a quick conversation with an agent. After you sit on hold for about four hours, you get to talk to an agent for about two minutes and 33, uh, 33 seconds, and then you get to be uh, booted off the phone. You know how it all works, right? We've all been there, done that. Sit on hold for all day, and then you get to talk to somebody for like a couple minutes before the conversation's over. And you're like, wait, what just happened here? I sat on hold for all that time, only to talk for a minute and a half, and that's it? You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, um, the fact of the matter is, please call Social Security if you're going to be working or if you're going to start working and you're claiming benefits right now, call them, have a conversation, be honest, be transparent. They're not gonna penalize you. They're not gonna scold you. You're not gonna be in trouble, okay? they uh, There's nothing wrong with working as receiving benefits. There's nothing wrong with it at all. They will help guide you on the path to make sure that you're not gonna get in any you know reduction type of situation or repayment type of situation. So anyway, Hope this video helps you out. But again, this is the study that was released. And again, some of the statistics out there right now on Social Security retirees and beneficiaries because of inflation, the magical word of 2022 that we all love so much. Just kidding, we don't. Anyway, it's inflation, by the way. That's the word that I was talking about. So anyway, hope this video helps you. Again, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out some of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, have a good one. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you again later. In the